Well, we left Tindrum now. As someone might say, Tindrum. 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 Who knows? Answers in a postcard. Yeah. So Tindrum. Tindrum's back that way, and we are now on the track heading towards Bridge of Orkey. Left the white chalk, we're now in a, a narrow path. We've climbed up the hillside. As you can see, it's raining. We're kind of getting buffed a bit by the wind. A fair bit up here. Right, we're coming down off the hill. And we're just going under the railway line now. It's kind of a, a narrow kind of oh, underpass. Very cool. Very cool, according to the wind. Place to shelter. Place to shelter, yeah, okay. I wouldn't be setting up a boogie bog here anyway. No. It's a bit rocky and wet underneath. That's some wind, I'll tell you. Bridge of Orkey, we've finally arrived. So that's been quite easy walking all the way up until now. It's the Bridge of Orkey Hotel, so we're going to see if we can pop in there and see if we can get a drink or a juice or something. I don't know if it, I don't, I'm not sure if it'll be open because it's only gone half past ten. The Bridge of Orkey Hotel was open! I was only going to stop there for a pint of orange lemonade. But the lady says, Oh, well, we do breakfast rolls. And of course, I did succumb and <laughs> ended up having a bacon roll. But it was rather fine a bacon, a bacon roll, a pint of orange lemonade. Well, we're not long down from the, the summit. And here we have one very well photographed lone solitary tree. Overlooks Loch Tower. So it's a tree. And Loch Tower down there. It was bad, right? Look at those moody, grimacing clouds sitting on the hilltops there. And then down here ahead of us, what's down the bottom of the path, Lynn? The hotel. Drinks. Drinks are on me. We've made it. One stop. In the Warren Hotel, Country House. Bar. The big sign says bar. One's searching out, she's sniffing out the entrance. <laughs> Hey folks, that's us. We've had lunch at the bar in hotel. Probably the smallest bar in Scotland, I would think. It's absolutely tiny in there, but the food is delicious and I absolutely recommend it. And here we have one of the natives of the West Highland Way. Quite friendly. If left undisturbed. He's not scared of any of this deer, is he? No. Going a fresh, fresh set of antlers, anyway. That's how long's way. Drove roads Glen Cool. New vehicles. Please keep to track. Scottish Rights Away Society. There we go. Hi, folks. That's us in the heart of Rannoch Moor now. Whew. Knacker. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, I'm knacker. So just switch around folks. Right, so there's Lynn walking on ahead. And there's like one of the many lockings in Rannick Moor. We've reached Bar Bridge. 
don't know what you call it, bar bridge. It's something to do with sheep or something, but who knows? Okay, that was just funny. We're stopping for a break here, it's quite scenic here. We've got like a sort of narrow rocky gorge. Here. This is probably the nicest part of it. It's beautiful. I'm just looking back at the openness of Ranich Moor here, just as we're about to leave it and head up this track. And then once we get over the top of this track and around the corner, that takes us to a new chapter of our walk, which is in the Glencoe. Oh, there's motoring on there. Nearly top of the pass now. I'll probably take a video here because this is what the colours were stunning over across there. Just the shades of light. And the moody cloud over the hills. It's absolutely beautiful. We can zoom in a little bit. There, that's maybe better. Fantastic, eh? Alright, so we're just turning around. And Lynn's been a wee line, she's headed for Glencoe. I better get I better catch up. Now oh, that's us near like Glencoe Mountain Resort where we're staying the night. And over there, shrouded in cloud is the Ionic Book of Light of Moor. We describe as a Page three of the mountain calendar in Scotland. <laughs> and over there, I can see in the distance roughly where we went tomorrow up the Devil Staircase. Um, right, that's just a, a ride for accommodation for the night is ta -da, the Micro Lodge, number seven. This is where we stayed. So, yeah. So it's a case of uh, posh accommodation tonight. Pretty cool. Day six West Highland Way, that's our accommodation we had last night in the little micro lodge. Let's find just to spread all our gear out. So we're just heading off today. Over the Devil Staircase, which is way over there, and there's the Bukalette of Moor. Pretty much cloud free this morning. So that's us on the way. It's a bit over cast again. We're there, but yeah. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be fine. We're just approaching the King's House Hotel. Hopefully, I'll get the water supply topped up here. Book a letter more over there to life, of course. So we're now on. Day six, and we're just looking for a short day to kind of leave it today. So tomorrow will be day seven, and I'm not sure we're just going to plan to head to the camp set in Glen Nevis and have a short day at the Fort William, and catch the bus up the Vaness, and get home that way. So that's the plan at the moment. The King's House, and it's all this bonny views. So. Yeah, if you're doing the West Hill Way, the chances are you'd be wild camping down there by the river. One tent down there, and then sort of behind this little knoll here, there's a few more campers. So there is room to camp. I think people who've even camped in those woods behind there, but well, I'm not sure, I've never seen any folk camping there. I've camped. I've camped away over here. Um, Probably come here a few times actually, but on the West Highland Way, you can probably just see that purple colour down over there. I think I've camped over there somewhere. Here we go, we're just standing at probably one of the most photographed way markers of the West Highland Way, which is the lovely backdrop of the Buckle, Buckle of Moor. And we just turn now and we're back off the beaten track on on the trail again, off the off the road. 
I wasn't much for a wedding anyway, but... I'm just going to grab my orange top and put them in. So you hear that, let's just take them up the top. Through the fence. Gate, shall we say. Yeah, that's us. And then we're walking along here, up a wee climb. And then over to a place called Alp the Fay. And then we take a right turn up over the Devil Staircase. Isn't that a view? It's going to be very bonny today. Alright folks, well, we're in Glencoe, as you can see, book a letter bag over there, book a letter for more, so uh, this means we are at the start of the Devil Staircase, climbs up over the top of the hill, then you've got the nice long descent down into Kinloch Leaven, so yep, here we go, I think it's the highest point in the way obviously. I'm fairly moving up this devil staircase, like. So it's not as bad as folk could make out. In fact, I would say that they climb up through the the trees, like Cree and Laris, a lot worse than this. Because this steeper to come, like, but the good thing is, you would stop if you're knocker or whatever, he just turns around and go. Oh, look at the view. Fantastic. Are you talking about me? But the view's near the picture and the frame, so... Oh, this view. That view. There we go. So if it gallery needs to stop here, plenty of hours plan to stop at the bottom. So, something to eat. So we've got to stop very soon. So we eat before we head up the zigzags. Yep. Continue on. Well, we made it to the top of the devil staircase with a number of other people. Quite a spectacular view, isn't it? So we've actually just had lunch, we've sort of huddled down over this knoll there in front of us as the wind's going in that direction, so we've got this wee shelter pit which is what's to our lunch. So we're back out there. Beautiful. I don't know if you've a park park this park since last time I was here, like putting all these crossing stones, boulders, etc. to help the path drain. So yeah, we're doing well actually. I'm fairly losing the seat to be fairly high, losing the height. And I'm actually quite enjoying the, the descent this time. Lock Leaven's now in our sights, we can just see it down there. So when we're getting closer, we're eventually losing the height. This seems, seems like fair heifer. But no, no, we'll get there. At last, we've reached Kinloch Leaven. So this is one bit the west side of the way, up over the Dale staircase, and then you can lock leaving that I remember very well, the descent. It goes on, and on, and on, 
And yes, it certainly feels like it does that for a long time. But yeah, we're glad we're here now. Probably better always to check out the campsite, so we might see if we can seek out some suitable refreshment somewhere.